Hey everybody, um, this is a bad motherboard. Um, it's got a pop capacitor, so I'm not worried about the uh, functionality of this, but my intent is to show you how to put a 775 processor in here and the heat sink and, uh, as if it was inside the computer. Okay, what you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver, and you may need uh, some other, uh, uh, let's see, another, actually this screws straight in to that, so that's pretty good. Uh, there, there may be some uh, um, things to go on the motherboard. Uh, this came off of a Dell computer. That's the mounting bracket. So we're going to simulate this as being the motherboard. All right. This is the film that was underneath the mo the original motherboard, and this already has a film underneath it. So we don't need to put that one on. So, so uh, we're going to get going on this right now. Uh, one thing you do need is a, a tube of thermal paste. This doesn't have a. The, this has dried on um, uh, used thermal paste on it, so uh, it's a good processor. So you want to hold this by the edges. If you're working in your computer, you want to be grounded. I'm not grounded because I'm not worried about this guy. All right. So so uh, because it is a bad motherboard, you pop that pop this guy back. It's locked down right there. So pull it that way and up. Okay, then you're going to lift this guy up, if you can get it up, okay, and he's going to be out of the way. There is a, a, a key set, all right, there's a little triangle, or a little edge right there, all right, and that is over on that side, you want to make sure that that is it's the only one that doesn't come to a sharp side, so, um, and it's got a little arrow right there to, to go over there, so, we're going to set that in there and make sure it sets all the way. There's also keyways. Let me pull that back out. There's a keyway here and a keyway there. There's only one way it goes in to meet both those requirements. So you're going to set this back down. That's going to push it down with that lever. It's going to press it down into, uh, to make contact. And it's going to be kind of tough. It's tight and it goes in. All right, so we're going to put our bracket in. This is our mounting bracket. It has four Phillips head screws in there. All right, now we would be on top of uh, the motherboard right now. So, so let me set this down. I actually want to take the screws out. I got four of them. Let me put them someplace where they're not going to fall. All right, and uh, we're going to put this underneath as if it was inside a motherboard. I'm going to have this on top. All right, and uh, this is just like it was on the motherboard. We're going to put this guy in there. Now, there is there is an area right here you have capacitors along here it won't fit in that way it'll hit the capacitors so this is going to go this way around all right and we're going to be right over the holes now the holes are a little off because this is not a motherboard and of course they're not lined up so i'm going to take the first phillips head i'm going to put it in here this is uh, something i learned in the navy always keep a finger on the screw and put it in there and you may have to uh, bring this up to find the hole and screw it down all right, we're going to do that with all four. I'm only going to do two, if I can get it in there. Uh, left hand on this one. I can I can actually work with both hands. Watch me follow this up now because I said that. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's fun being self-employed, uh, fixing computers, but what really is a drag though. Is an injury from a long time ago is hounding me, and I'm in a wheelchair most of the time now. That's where I'm sitting in right now. So um, we're going to tighten that guy down. All right, so he's in there. Two on the corners are. You want to do all four of them. All right, now you should have these clips. We're going to need those. Um, we're going to take the uh, cooling fan. This is. It's not really a fan. This is a heat sink. This is the type that is needed for this kind of processor. All right, um, so we're going to put it on the edge. You got to pull this out to put it. There is no wrong way of putting this in. Both sides are the same. We're going to push this guy down. You'll hear a click. It's locked in there. We pick up the whole thing. This is the underneath. That's if it was the motherboard with two screws in. So you want to put all four again, and that's and that is the 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 heat sink. All right, now these are to actually latch down on both sides. All right, so uh, I tell you what, they're a little bit of a pill to get out, 
but they have little areas right here where it's uh, indented on top and you want to put that side up this is a clip that if you want to take it back out you're going to hit this all right so we're going to pop that in it's going to snap in place there it goes and you're going to do the same thing to the other side all right with the this side up this is going to uh, this is going to definitely lock it into place. All right, nobody's pulling this out to get these out if these locks are in place. Now that's it. The only thing you need now is a cooler, something to actually blow this off. Now Dell has a big fan. This is dirty. I got to clean it out. And uh, when I sell this processor, this processor has been tested. I'm going to test it again since I have it in this board and I'm touching it non-static. So I'm going to test it again before I sell it on eBay. But all this is going to go with it when it's clean. But this actually sits over it like this, all right, with uh, with all the cores going through. Uh, so it's a uh, what it's doing is actually clean. It's all uh, this is spinning, and it's um, cooling off the heater core. So this guy goes with it, and I'm sure that you could put holes in the back to actually mount this. It does not have to be on a Dell computer. Any 7075 that will handle this size on a on a tower will work just fine. Now I'm going to go through the uninstall now. All right, so uh, on the uninstall, you're going to press on this side, and it's a little difficult when this is in and the power supply is over here. I take the power supply out so I can get down here. You're going to push this in and lift this up, and same thing on the other side. Push in, lift up. We're going to take this out. Really, because there's no mechanical items here, as in a fan, you should never have to take this out. But dust does build up on this. This one does need to be cleaned. So uh, I like taking it out. You're going to pull this back until this frees up. And it's tight. Okay, so just slide it out. When you do this, you need to put the thermal stuff on there. Clean this off, put the new thermal stuff on before you put it back on. Don't ever use dried up thermal liquid on both sides because the heat transfer will not be sufficient. Never put metal to metal because you'll, you'll get what's called a burnout. So you need to put the, the thermal stuff on there. Um, I'm not going to be able to supply it when I sell this, so you're going to have to purchase it somewhere else. So you should never have to take out this bracket. The bracket's a part of the motherboard, part of everything. At this time, you should never have to take this bracket out. If you ever had to change out the, the chip, the processor for some reason, I've never seen one burn up, never seen one go bad in 30 years that I've been doing this. So. Um, and I just got some of that stuff on. With this cage in, it is difficult to get out. So what I use is I use a screwdriver. Be careful you don't scrape the motherboard. This is a damaged motherboard, so I could do this. But be very careful you don't scrape the motherboard. You're going to pull this guy out, and it slings up. Pull this up. You grab it by the edges. And pull that right back out. Don't touch the bottom, because you'll zap it. A whole bunch of stuff's inside this, uh, this chip. So hopefully you like the video. It's educational for you and uh, you can do your own work. All right, so uh, subscribe and see a lot more. Bye now.